Yeah, my name is uh, Oliver Edelman. I am the responsible uh, sales and marketing manager worldwide for Concept Laser. Concept Laser is uh, a company which is uh, mainly focused on development of laser machinery for metal applications. So we develop and design, uh, let's say, laser machinery which uh, builds par parts or mold inserts or mold parts in all kinds of uh, different metals. The M1 has a small build envelope, uh, 120 by 120 in X and Y, 200 in Z. The M3 will come in two options. The standard uh, build envelope option is a 250 cube. Uh, and we have an enlarged module for the machine, so we don't have uh, a different basic machine. We can swap the module uh, to a build envelope of 300 by 350 for X and Y and 300 in Z. We have a range which we can choose in the uh, preparation process. Typically it, it, uh, it's adjustable between 20 and 100 microns. Um, for mold inserts we mainly use 30 microns to get maximum resolution and for parts they can vary between uh, uh, 60, uh, 30 and 60 microns. The laser, uh, let's say other than the laser sintering, which is mostly known by uh, a lot of the people, uh, we have a little bit different physical process. So we, the, the aim is to use a standard tool steel or standard target material. Also stainless steel can be a target material without any ingredients uh, as a two component powder. We use one component metal powders only, original materials. And we completely liquefy by the laser energy only. So we don't heat up the process chamber. We put only laser energy into the process to liquefy the material and this is a prerequisite to get uh, very high density and uh, almost identical mechanical properties to a normal part which is milled out of a full steel block, uh, for example. And that is a prerequisite for also using it in production applications. So that is the laser cusing technology. We use nd laser uh, sources for this to have enough or the correct wavelengths and, the, and enough power to really liquefy the materials. The M1, actually they have this, the same laser system inside. The major difference uh, between M1 and M3 is that the M3 is uh, modified in a way that we can pulse the laser on in pulse mode, so we can do engraving or laser erosion, laser removal uh, with the same uh, laser type. And also we have some differences in the machine design um, related to build envelope size. So the M1 is a smaller build envelope. The M3 has one particular difference, the scanner is mounted on linear axis so we can actually move the scanner over the build envelope. So this allows us to have a short distance and very low angle uh, while exposing the powder surface to the laser uh, beam. So that, that ensures to have the same accuracy while uh, enlarging the build envelope. So it's actually a build envelope, is the engraving uh, thing which the M1 doesn't have and of course then it's also price. So we're designing a software program which allows to define certain surfaces of the mold insert which can be a little bit extruded uh, by the software program and then have a laser erosion process coming uh, across it after the part is, is built uh, in the laser cusing process and that gives some uh, interesting results already. It's a, it's a protected atmosphere depending on the type of material we use and depending on the results uh, which we would like to see uh, we use different process gases. Typically nitrogen for uh, mold making applications with tool steel. Uh, titanium and um, aluminum they require argon atmosphere but also for some steel materials uh, using argon that can have a significant impact on the increase of uh, elongation to break for example. So we have, we have tool steels, we have stainless steel materials and we are very close to commercialize uh, aluminum diecast alloys and titanium alloys in combination with a new machine product. We're looking at something which is very close to 100%, so uh, far beyond 99%, so 99.5, 99.6% with some new laser sources which we're actually evaluating. We can go all the way up to 99 and even higher than that or 99.9. It's, it's almost ideal uh, density for the components. And this is also a prerequisite to have, let's say, identical mechanical properties to a part which comes from a normal machining or casting process.